Hi, this is Zach, and this is a video about growing up. When we're young, we see the world differently. Before we fully comprehend the world around us, the foundation of our lives is imagination. So I'm here to tell you a story. A story about Shuji Teriyama, who makes coming-of-age films that look through the surreal lens between adolescent dreams and reality. He'll be answering our questions about adulthood, deciphering our dreams about the future, and reminding us that the passing of time is surreal and goes by faster than we realize. A Teriyama film plays out like a Freudian diary, with phantasmagorical images pulled straight from the unconscious. And as unconscious material, much is not understood until we reflect on his character's psychological needs. Take the circus in the film Pastoral. The young protagonist stumbles upon this foreign and erotic hideaway. It's a recurring setting, drenched in kaleidoscopic colors, a trademark of Teriyama's dream sequences. It's inherently intimidating because it's a world of adults living the opposite of his traditional lifestyle. But his curiosity still draws him in. He envisions this abstract debauchery because he wants to elope with his older neighbor. <laughs> But in reality, he lacks the experience with these adult interactions. <laughs> and ultimately, we see the circus as no more than a manifestation of his unconscious desires. <laughs> Teriyama's dream sequences use vivid, vibrant color. He loves using nostalgic green, or unnerving pinks, an aging sepia tone, which allows him to seamlessly switch between reality and dreams. Teriyama loves to keep his shots wide to sprinkle movement into the corners of his frame, as well as setting up for surprises. <laughs> These distinct sequences allow for a non-linear approach, where he can easily transition between these realms without losing the viewer. He utilizes the distinctiveness in his dream sequences to carry much of the film's thematic weight through vignettes. <laughs> much of these vignettes are ostensibly unrelated due to their non-sequitur placement. But they're not here to bore you. They're often jarring, <laughs> cryptic, <laughs> or just <laughs> So how does Teriyama use these vignettes to enhance his narrative? My favorite example is Throw Away Your Books' stuttering scene. Teriyama's lighting gives us no choice but to listen. But we learn his stutter has shaped his entire ideology. It's a way of seeing the world that only he can understand and appreciate. So these vignettes are poetic sequences that highlight his film's themes in a different context. And here, we meet someone like the protagonist, vitalized with youthful, internal visions, and strives most in their own world. But what I will say is, each of Teriyama's characters spends so much time in their own world 
they often lose track of reality. And what keeps them in check is time. Since Teriyama is constantly manipulating time in his films, his characters believe that time can't be trusted. His very first film, The Cage, strings together a hypnotic series of images, which experiment with the idea that time cannot be escaped. This short piece, like many of Teriyama's films, involve clocks as a motif. These clocks may be coveted or overlooked, but they'll be there when a character's time is up. There's an apparent need to regain control of time. In Pastoral, the young protagonist wants time to accelerate so he can be an adult. Whereas his over-controlling mother wants time to stop, and for him to be her little boy forever. Both want to be in control of time, and Teriyama feels the solution lies in individualism. Operating on your own time. And that means carrying a watch. These coming-of-age desires and fascination with time come together as Teriyama asks his ultimate question, can the past be changed? And that's when Teriyama meets with his younger self. His unique dialogue sequences rarely utilize over-the-shoulder reverse shots, and instead, Teriyama would swing his entire camera to piece together distance conversations. But here, we have characters who truly see eye to eye, and their dreams weave in and out of the frame as they speak. But surprisingly, <laughs> their experiences don't align. Here's a quote from Teriyama himself. If we wish to free ourselves, wipe out the history of humanity inside us, and the history of society outside us, we must begin by getting rid of our personal memories. But that is when our memory begins to play hide and seek with us. So are our memories as real as we think they are? Teriyama's films are a retrospection on his adolescence and reinterpret his past through the lens of the present. Time changes our memories, and when we look back on our childhood, our perception then is not the same as we see it now. Basically, the whole past is just fiction, so just go with it. There's only one direction for time to move, and that's 